Hello and welcome to our next session of Sunday Morning Together. We've been working through the book of Daniel over the last few weeks and this week we're looking at Daniel chapter 3. This week focuses a story on Daniel's three friends, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. So follow along and listen to what they get up to. The four young Jewish friends, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, who worshipped God, were made leaders in the country of Babylon. Daniel served near the palace. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego served together near Babylon. Today's story is about Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. King Nebuchadnezzar was ruler of all Babylon. Everyone had to do what he said. If he made a rule, then everyone had to obey it. He did not obey God. He worshipped idols. He had his servants make a large golden idol. It was almost 30 metres high and 3 metres wide. He gathered all of the officials at the court together and also a band. King Nebuchadnezzar made a law for all of the people. Whenever you hear the music playing, you must all bow down and worship the idol. If anyone does not bow down, then they will be put to death by being thrown into a furnace of fire. Later, when the music began playing, all of the people bowed down. All except for three people, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They did not bow down to an idol like everyone else. They knew that God only wanted them to worship him. God's law said that they were never to bow down to idols. They knew that they would get in trouble with the king and that everyone might laugh, but they still chose to obey God. So men in the king's court noticed that Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego did not bow down to the idol. They went and told the king that someone had dared to disobey the king's law. King Nebuchadnezzar was very angry. How dare anyone in his kingdom not worship his gods? He called the three young men before him. Why will you not bow down before the idol as I commanded? If you do not bow down to my idol immediately, then I will have you thrown into a blazing furnace of fire, the king said angrily to Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. We don't have to explain to you, they answered. We will never bow down to anyone but the Lord God. He is the only true God. If you throw us into the fiery furnace, then our God will save us. The king was furious. He told some of his strongest soldiers to tie Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego up and throw them into the fire. He ordered the fiery furnace to be made seven times hotter than normal. The fire was so hot that the soldiers died when they threw the men into the furnace. To the fire and saw four men inside the furnace. Even though the fire in the furnace was burning and it was hot, the men were just walking around inside. The king leapt up in amazement and said, weren't there three men thrown into the fire? Yes, O king, there were only three men, answered the advisers. No one knew why the men were alive and no one knew how there could be four men. The fourth man looked different. King Nebuchadnezzar wrongly thought that he was one of his gods. Maybe the man was an angel or maybe it was the presence of the true Lord God. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, come out of the furnace, yelled the king. The three men walked out of the fire. They were unhurt and their clothes were not burned. Everyone noticed that the men didn't even smell like smoke. It was a miracle. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. No other God could save men in this way. The king ordered that no one in the kingdom ever say anything bad about the Lord God. Then he gave Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego even better jobs in the kingdom of Babylon. Wasn't that a great story to hear about how the three friends, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, even in times that was really hard, they still listened to God's laws and obeyed them. The Google Drive link below contains all the details of the worksheets for you and your family to enjoy. If you'd like to join with us live next Sunday at 10.15am, please just get in touch. We'll see you then. Bye.